Over the hills and valleys of Wales, red kites, once almost extinct in Britain, are now a familiar sight. At our farm in Abergavenny, I've often seen red kites soaring and circling in the skies above. They glide effortlessly at great height, seeming to defy the laws of gravity. And today, I'm going to join them. Parahawking is an adventure activity combining paragliding and falconry. Paragliders are always looking for ever more inventive ways of staying in the air longer, something red kites do naturally. So who better to learn from than the true masters of the sky? I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is Mr Black. He's a six-year-old, hand-reared red kite. And together, we're going to share a very special flying experience. Martin Cray is a parahawker. He's been flying with trained red kites for over 10 years. So Mr Black here is a red kite. What makes red kites so special? Well, in the wild, a red kite spends a lot of its time soaring. They don't flap hardly at all. They've got a very big wingspan, um, they're very, very light, but most importantly, really, I think, is this tail. It's got a very, very long forked tail, which means that he can stay completely flat, but he just uses his tail like a rudder, and then he can go around, so he's much, much more efficient in a thermal than I am. And it's thermals that are the key to both paragliders and the red kite's aerial talent. A thermal is created as the sun heats the ground unevenly. Where the ground is hotter, columns of warm air rise into the atmosphere, which acts like an escalator in the sky for birds of prey. And today, hopefully for us too. Oh, it's kite round the belly, isn't it? So red kites have got it easy. As you can see, we need a lot of equipment before we can get airborne. And over here is the hill we're about to jump off. I've never done this sort of thing before, and I've got to say, I'm a little bit nervous. Tiny. Once we are safely airborne, Mr Black is released and will hopefully guide us to the thermals. Oh, there he is. Oh. However, it seems that Mr Black has other ideas. He's just sitting on the edge there. That's no good to us. I know. Come on, Mr Black. After taking in the view for a moment, it wasn't long before Mr Black was back in action. Whoa, nice one. Hopping from thermal to thermal, Mr Black is cushioned by parcels of warm air and can soar to a great height. And we're right on his tail. Wow. Ooh. This may be a thrill-seeking ride for me, but for many birds of prey, it serves a very useful purpose. They spend most of their time hunting from the air. Flapping their wings would burn a lot of energy, but hitching a ride on a thermal dramatically reduces their calorie consumption. Primarily scavengers, red kites feed on small mammals. They harness the power of the thermals to scour a vast area for food. Mr Black may be able to stay up here for hours on end, but with the wind picking up, we can't. So it's back to earth for us, with a bump. Oh, that was amazing. You could really feel the thermals when you were going into them. And to share the flying space with that red kite, I feel very privileged. Yeah.